Hey everyone, Steve here again. Steve the Shredder, playing and saying what I want. Showing what I want, and that's going to be my PlayStation game collection. I hope you all have enjoyed my Super Nintendo games that I all showed you. Now, here are my PlayStation games. I've got a pretty good amount of them, too, and all of these are in the cases. Yep. Pretty much just, um... I may have maybe one or two that don't have a case with it, but these are all the ones that I have that have the case. So without further ado, let me show you the first game that I have for PlayStation. And the first one I have is Bottom of the Ninth 99, featuring former Royal outfielder Brady Anderson on the cover, who was an outfielder. Hit 50 home runs in 1996 and had a few other good years. He stole a lot of bases for the Orioles. Are you ready for the big leagues? And the case is broken, unfortunately. And that's the way the game is. It's um, not bad of a game. I got it on Amazon. A little bit hard to hit the ball sometimes, but I like the cover as well. And it doesn't have the Oriole logo on there. They disabled it for some reason. It's his name. Many others on here, like Mark McGuire back in the day, Big Mac. Many other players, too. Good graphics. And there you are. There's the first. Next one I have, this is Dave Mira Freestyle BMX, which is a bike game, bicycle game, or bike game. And that's the way the game is as well. Dial in to Progressive Freestyle BMX with 10-time world champion Dave Mira. He's um, not really bad. There's another guy named Matt Hoffman who also did biking like him. The uh, game is not really all that bad. I played a little bit of it. And I got a flea market. I just thought I'd get it because it's pretty good. And next one I have, I used to play this back in the day. I actually played this when I got my first PlayStation. And that is Driver. But it's um, got the name on there disabled. But here is the side. I believe I got this at a flea market. I think. That is You Are the Wheel Man, that is. This game is kind of tough, though. You can like, do these storylines, and I have trouble getting past a level in there, which is the beginning level, where you're like in this parking garage, and you gotta like, do all these things on there, which is tough. But you can drive around other areas, too, as well. I do a uh, little drive like around San Francisco or whatever else they have. It's only a one-player game, but it's really not bad, you know. If they would have made a movie out of this, probably would have been pretty cool. But the game is pretty good as well. And here I have Driver 2, The Wheel Man is Back. I believe I got this at a flea market, or it may have been a Goodwill store. And there's the first game, Disc 1, and Disc 2 is in here as well. Uh, somewhere. I meant... I think I, uh... Yeah, I covered it up with the thing. There it is. Phew. I thought for a reason it was not there. It's, um, this game is actually better. I like this more than the first one just because storylines are not all that bad. That's the way the game is. The Wheel Man is back. This has a price of $3. It was either Goodwill Store or Flea Market. I got this at, I want to say Goodwill. Not sure, though. Next, I have The Family Feud with your host, Louis Anderson. With the phrase on there that some of my friends like on there that think is funny, and that is when he says, Good answer! Good answer! It's um, a little bit funny. Not all that funny, but gameplay is pretty good as well. I played this in the Family Feud Jeopardy and Wheel Hour. Got this on Amazon as well. There you go. Next one I have is, best, um, pretty much everybody's favorite in the series, I have Gran Turismo 2. I don't have the first one. Seeing it at flea markets and Goodwill stores, I'll get it one day. And I think I got this at a flea market, I think. It's been good. Lots of good cars in here to race. Like Aston Martin, Chevrolet, Chrysler. Many others, too. Very good game, too. It's good to play. Next, I have Jeopardy. This one is pretty much tough, though. They do have a computer game or PC game of this as well, which I do have. I just haven't really played on the computer in a while. And the way the game is on the back and the uh, game, I played this in my Family Jeopardy and Wheel Hour. And it's uh, pretty good as well. 
a pretty good game, but just um, some of the clues are very tough. And here's Jeopardy 2nd Edition. It wasn't $13. I got this on Amazon for like 7 I think. Came with the case as well. I like this more than the first ones. I like the clues on there and the gameplay as well. It's pretty good. And there's the game. Hmm. Moving right along. Next one I have is Madden 99, a football game with John Madden. Only played just a little bit of it. Big hits, big plays, big game. I'm pretty sure this was a Goodwill store or maybe flea market. I think it was Goodwill, though. I just thought I'd get it because I like sports. And here's Madden 2002. I used to have this back in the day for the GameCube. You remember that Nintendo GameCube? You can play it on the Wii as well. This features Dante Culpepper on the front. Former quarterback back in the day for the Minnesota Vikings. Great player, too. Number one for a reason, as it says. And there's the game. And I, think I, I think I had it on PlayStation 2 as well, but I'm not sure. Here's the next one, Madden 2003, which features Marshall Falk on the cover, former running back for the St. Louis Rams back in the day. The best gets better. Good uh, running back back in the day. Case is messed up, unfortunately. And I'm pretty sure this was a Goodwill store. That's mostly where I get them is Goodwill stores or sometimes Amazon. Hmm. Next one I have, I have Monopoly. The best Parker Brothers game ever, I guess. I only played a little bit of this, so I do have it on Sega Genesis. And we did have the version for the Nintendo Wii as well. I don't know if we still have it. Not sure. But the game is not bad. I don't, I don't think I have the Nintendo version, though. Next one I have, I recently got this. MLB 99 featuring my favorite Oriole player forever, Cal Ripken Jr. on the front. Going after a ground ball when he moved to third base in this time. From the makers of NFL Game Day and the game as well. I got this at a Goodwill store. The way the game is. Yep. So I do love the Orioles and I love Cal Ripken Jr. And next one I have is... MLB 2001. I don't have MLB 2000. I remember they advertised that back in the day. And this features Chipper Jones on the cover. And it's uh, $7 as well. It's got a Power Gamer video game store. Yeah, Chipper Jones, great player for the Atlanta Braves. Yeah, definitely a future Hall of Famer in my opinion. And there's the game. <clears throat> Next one I have is NASCAR Racing. This is like the first NASCAR game they made for the PlayStation. Featuring Dale Earnhardt right there, Jeff Gordon, Terry Lamonti, Mark Martin, I think Michael Waltrip in that, and Ricky Rudd in the Tide car. This game isn't bad. I have played this before, Racing on the Edge, it says. But, you know, it's um really not bad, just interesting a little bit. <clears throat> There's the game. Got at a flea market. And here I have NASCAR 98. Now, I like this game. I love the gameplay. Features Jeff Warden leading the pack. Dale Earnhardt. Bobby Labonte in the back. And rest, NASCAR 98 is the best racing simulation of all time. Says Game Informer. And I have to agree because I like the way the game is. I have to do a gameplay of this, but I can't include the intro because it has a, a song on there which is Flirting with Disaster by Molly Hatchet. And has a definite copyright claim. And move these over so I have rooms I can put the others on my show. And here's NASCAR 99 featuring Dale Earnhardt leading the pack. Well, with Mark Martin, Terry Labonte, and Kyle Petty in the back. Live to race, race to win. I have this for Nintendo 64, but I prefer the Nintendo 64 version more because I like the way the game play is. But I did try to upload a gameplay of it on Nintendo 64, but it had a copyright claim of a song by Stevie Ray Vaughan, and I forget what it was, so I had to delete the video. And here's NASCAR 2000, which I also have in Nintendo 64, featuring Dale Earnhardt leading the pack again with Terry Labonte and Mark Martin. Prove you can handle the thunder, and the way the game is as well. But we'll have to do a gameplay of this. I think my friend uh, Gary has done a game as well. And there you are. Now, here is one of Gary's favorites that I will play on camera soon, and that is NASCAR Rumble, which is none of the, not like racing NASCAR cars on a track like Daytona or anything like that. 
This is more like the Demolition Derby, where you're any NASCAR driver and you can drive really fast. Featuring Dale Earnhardt, Dale Earnhardt Jr., Jeff Warden, Tony Stewart, which is right there. Many others as well. I definitely have to do a game of this because it's pretty fun to play. And I have a code as well for like how to unlock the hidden stuff, like hidden drivers and stuff and extra things. And the elite level, like to make your car go really fast. Mm -hmm. And the last NASCAR game I have is NASCAR Heat. Drop into a 200 mile per hour traffic jam. Lots of great drivers. Dale Earnhardt, Jeff Gordon, Dale Earnhardt Jr., Ricky Rudd, Tony Stewart, Bobby Labonte, many others. Uh-huh. I have the uh, PC game of this as well. I don't know where it is. Maybe put away somewhere. I haven't played the PC game in a while. And I have it for, I think, PlayStation 2, um, the 2002 one. Yeah, it was a pretty good one, NASCAR Heat. It was. And I have NFL Blitz 2001, a football game. Just um, no refs, no rules, no mercy. Like, everybody can just push you out of the way, literally. Like, do anything to you and just, like, go so, much, so fast or anything like that. You know, it's just... It's pretty fun, where the game is as well. I think I had NFL Blitz 99 or something back in the day, or just one I had back in the day, I don't remember. But it's a pretty good. And here I have a great game that I pretty much liked, Road Rash. I love the Road Rash games. I have it for Sega, the second one, and the third one. The PlayStation version is great. Super Bikes, Heavy Metal, and a Baseball Bat. What else do you need? Well, all you just need to do is finish first place, actually. Yeah, great uh, stuff on here. It's a two-player game. And I definitely uh, like this game. And where it is. I may have got this on Amazon, I think. Not sure exactly, though. And the next one I have is Road Rash 3D. But this is a one-player game. You can just do the same thing just like that. The Ultimate Fight to the Finish Line. And, um, great stuff in here, like beat up the cops if you can, and get away from them, and just finish first place. And it's like that. <clears throat> Next one I have is Road Rash Jailbreak. This one's different, though. This is two players. Features like mild language as well. It's rated T, rated T for teen. Do the crime, don't do the time. You can be, like, anything you want. You can be a uh, cop in this, I think. Or the sidecar they also have in more fighting and jailbreak mode. Anything else that you want to do. It's not bad, but I just prefer the first Road Rash better. Next one I have, and this is based off the movie, Space Jam. Where you play basketball with the Looney Tunes against the Monstars. Or you can be the Monstars. You got Michael Jordan, Bugs Bunny, Daffy Duck, Lola Bunny, Elmer Fudd, and Porky, I think. And the announcer is pretty funny. Like when somebody gets hurt or something, he would be like, ouch, or sit down. I played um, an off-camera game of this. I would have to play this on camera. It's pretty good. And also featuring WWF In Your House as well, which is pretty cool. Where the game is. Next, I have SpongeBob SquarePants Super Sponge. Well, I can't give an honest opinion of this because it's just... Mm, so so, you know. I've only played a little bit of it. Hopping clams, zap. Yeah, there's not really that much to say about it. There really isn't. I like the SpongeBob cartoons back in the day, but the new episodes now are just kind of stupid. Don't really care for them that much anymore. Next, I have Tekken 3. Tekken was a pretty good series in the uh, arcade games. People would play them a lot. I did myself. I played uh, Tekken 2, I think, and Tekken Tag Tournament. I got this when I bought it, when I bought a PlayStation at a flea market. I have a PlayStation 2 now, and I play them on that. I don't play them on a regular PlayStation. The Fight of Your Life, featuring a character on here that I like by the name of Yoshi Mitsu. I just thought he was pretty cool. Yeah, and a few others as well. I think they made a movie out of this as well, but this is the only Tekken game that I have. Alright. Next one that I have, now this is golf, don't get me wrong. It's Tiger Woods 99, PGA, PGA Tour Golf 99. 
featuring like 3D graphics on here, like the way Tiger is uh, shown on here. Yeah, pretty good at stuff on here, Golf Tiger style. I still do like Tiger Woods. I know some people probably don't care for him that much anymore, but still, he's a, he's a good golfer. And why isn't this case opening? Well, no wonder. It's uh, broken off. <laughs> what a waste. Let's put this back on. All right. Next one I have, Tiger Woods PGA Tour 2000. Uh, not really a um, whole lot. Golf so real, you'll want to wear spikes. <laughs> nice motto. Got this at a Goodwill store as well. I saw them there and just thought I'd get them to add them to my collection. Also featuring FIFA soccer, but I don't really care for soccer that much, unfortunately. And Tiger Woods PGA Tour Golf. Hit This game is from 2000. Or whatever. A hole-in-one golf game. Lots of stuff on here, too. I have a few of them on uh, Xbox 360 as well, and another one for FIFA, or they should have called this Tiger Woods PGA Tour Golf 2001, I think. Next one I have is Tony Hawk's Pro Skater. Uh, one of my friends named Brandon, he likes these games, and I do too. Go big, Hawk style. Do like all these tricks and stuff and unlock hidden stuff, play like videos and stuff. Instant replay and skateboard in like many places and the way the game is doesn't feature a cover because that's the way I got it at flea market. And here I have Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 2. I have Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 3 on PlayStation 2 and I, th and I have the fourth one as well. Hawk's back with new technology, new pros, and, and new tricks. And um... Way the game is as well on here, and also one for Matt Hoffman Pro BMX and Tony Hawk's Pro Skater. Next, I have Triple Play '98 baseball game. Got this at a Goodwill store. It's um not bad. I do like the Triple Play baseball games in the series. They're pretty good to play. And I also have the Greatest Hits one as well, but the case on here is a little, the cover room game, excuse me, is different, as you see. But no difference or anything, just uh, the way it is. May have been a flea market I got that at. Here I have Triple Play 99 featuring a great player back in the day that everyone was looking up to, but now he just turns out to be a big stupid jerk. Alex Rodriguez. He really is, I mean, because he cheated, and he lied and stuff, and he's just... Ridiculous. I mean, the way the game is, um, on the back, real baseball, all highlights. Yep, have to play a game of it one day. And here I have Triple Play 2000. I got this recently at a Goodwill store, featuring Sammy Sosa on the cover. The power, this is power baseball, it says. Good stuff as well, and I used to have this on Nintendo 64. I don't believe I have it anymore. And, uh, show something real quick. And the way Sosa looks on there is Cyber Sammy. They called it when they showed, like, the advertisement for this, which is pretty good. Okay. Next, I have Triple Play 2001. Now, I pretty much like this one. Features Mike Piazza on the cover. Go Yard, where you can, like, play in this construction site and, like, break windows and earn points. Yeah, which is uh, kind of interesting, you know? And there's a game as well. It's uh, pretty good, I have to admit. Next one is Twisted Metal 3. I used to play Twisted Metal back in the day, but the third one, I haven't really played this a lot. It says, and the case is broken as well. I, don't, I just don't know why a lot of these are, but I think I got this at a Goodwill store. That's the reason why it was why it's broke, unfortunately. Right, put this back on. Alright, there's the game. Next I have The Weakest Link with your host, Ann Robinson, where you must get your questions right, and if you don't, you are The Weakest Link. Goodbye. And the back as well, where it says, Are You The Weakest Link? I have played this on camera, but they put some copyright claim on there, and for some reason I think it was a false claim, though. Where you can be like any person there and answer as many questions as you can, just like the show. 
and the way the game is too. I have to play this on camera again as I do like this game. I think it's pretty good. Next we have Wheel of Fortune. Um, this one's all right though, but just the computer players take advantage of you and they just start winning the game, which is ridiculous. Now you're in the game. That's EA Sports saying it's in the game. But unfortunately, the game's not in here because I was using that in my Wheel Jeopardy and Feud hour, unfortunately. And I don't know where it is, but I'll find it eventually. Next, I have Wheel of Fortune, the second edition. I do have the PC game of this as well. PC game is not bad, and I also have the PC version of Wheel of Fortune. I like the second edition. I like the way the game is as well. I've done it many, many, t <clears throat> I've done it many times before on my channel. See what it's like to be a contestant on America's Game. That's right. <laughs> Next one. Who wants to be a millionaire? The second edition with your host Regis Philbin. I have done a gameplay of this many times before and on the PC as well. And I've done pretty well. I don't think I ever won the million on this, but I was up to probably a million in cash in all the games that I played. Yeah. And uh, the way the game is too. Enjoy the hottest TV game show on PlayStation. Wish that Regis was still hosting it to this, to this day, because it would be uh, fun to see that. You know, that Cedric the Entertainer guy, he was all right. Not, um, but not bad though. And here's the next one. Now this is Who Wants to Be a Millionaire, the third edition. I'll show you the game just to prove it, and there it is. It just doesn't have the right cover. I have won the million on here before, and I have to get back to doing these games as I pretty much enjoy doing these. Next, I have. World's Scariest Police Chases. If you remember the TV show back in the day, it was pretty fun um, to watch. Well, some uh, a lot of scary moments on there, but pretty much, yeah. All the speed, all the insanity, all the action. I have played a little bit of this on camera, but I'll have to play this again one day because I would definitely like to because it's um, a pretty good game. Next are my wrestling games, and here is WWF In Your House, featuring Bret Hart, Vader, Shawn Michaels. There goes the neighborhood. Everybody remembers the In Your House pay-per-views. I have a few of them on VHS, and I have the Blu-ray one, the entire collection of it. And all the wrestlers, Bret Hart, Ahmed Johnson, Vader, Goldust, The Ultimate Warrior, Owen Hart, Undertaker, British Bulldog, Hunter Hurst, Helmsley. Good stuff as well. I have to do a gameplay of this again. And also featuring for the Space Jam game, which I already showed you. Next one is WrestleMania the Arcade Game, which I mentioned in my Super Nintendo collection that I have, and here it is. With a number six on there, like six bucks, I guess. And the way the game is, but this thing here is a little bit ripped. Like it's missing the back cover of it, unfortunately. Features like instructions as well and other things and wrestlers too. Doink the Clown, Bret Hart, Razor Ramon, The Undertaker, Shawn Michaels, Yokozuna, Bam Bam Bigelow, and Lex Luger. In the Super Nintendo version, they don't include Yokozuna and Bam Bam Bigelow, I believe. Yeah, there, there's like two of them that aren't in the game. I forgot to mention that. And here is WWF Warzone featuring Stone Cold Steve Austin. I have to do a gameplay of these games because wrestling games are definitely fun to play and I definitely would like to do these on my channel again because I enjoy playing them. Uh-huh. And a little thing for Jeremy McGrath Super <coughs> Supercross. Next is WWF Attitude. Everybody's favorite part of wrestling, the Attitude Era. I did like the Attitude Era, but I pretty much grew up on the early 90s, like the golden years or whatever they called it. And the way the game looks as well in the gameplay features hidden wrestlers as well, like Sable and China and Shawn Michaels, but you had to like unlock them by like doing the season mode and winning like the belts and stuff, which kind of takes a while. And the last one that I have, WWF Smackdown 2 Know Your Role. I don't have WWF SmackDown, although it's okay though. I just prefer SmackDown 2 better. A lot of hidden wrestlers and stuff like Shawn Michaels, Stone Cold, and you can, I think you can create your wrestler as well. 
and uh, featuring like uh, the casket match, uh, creating your wrestler, the hell in a cell, the ladder match, many others. I have to do a gameplay of this, I really would have to. Okay, and that's it. That is it for my PlayStation video game collection. I hope you all enjoyed. Please like, comment, and subscribe. It is not a bad thing. It is a good thing, and I will see you all with more videos.